We finally left Marmaris and are island hopping for the next few days to get to the city of Didim, where we'll check out of Turkey and then head over to Greece. All right, so I'm going through this cut. It's about four meters according to the charts. Saved me about two miles going the other way. We're either going to save some time or we're going to end the boat right here. How deep is it? Four meters, which is more than enough. What's our draft? Uh, 1.75, 1.95, 1.85 meters. 1.85 meters. don't know. Just say, I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be like this. Ugh. It should be like this for another hour and a half. We're getting the Lee Acoss here. Oh gosh. But Acoss is grease though. That's grease, which is fine. And then we'll just sneak around here and get right up here to Bodrum. Yeah. And that's as far as we can go because of the way that we have yeah, yeah. the Meltini's on the other side. Okay. Our plan is to get to Didham up here, but we're down here right now. And even though it's only 45 miles, the wind is straight on our nose at about 20 to 30 knots today. So we may tuck in here overnight and wait until the wind's calm in the morning. Rough. I started a puzzle yesterday and I probably shouldn't have. It's gonna blow away. Ah, oh, the sun feels so good though. Still a little chilly in the mornings and the wind is chilly, but it's warming up for sure. Hey, there's Captain. Why are you standing in the shade? It's warm in the sun. Well, we're getting behind costs, so not as rough. It's just nine miles. Not too bad in the Meltimis because they can get big seas out here. So, I mean, if you can make northerly, you know, I could have waited a day. And, yeah. and why wait a day when we can just bang into it for about an hour and then be calm? We made 20 miles. We'll make 20 miles today. Oh, my cushions. Look at my beautiful new cushions, y'all. We had to put a sail on when it was windy. The wind was getting up underneath and making them rise up. They're strapped down, but... I love them. Those are the sunbeds I've been wanting forever and ever and ever. Now they're all salty and wet. Look at that. And the pillows are zipped on so they don't fly off. Isn't that nice? I love them. Love, love, love them. Right when we got the flexi teak done, I thought, you know, it'd be nice to have cushions in this little shape of this triangle where I could just lay out in the sun because I am a sun worshiper. I like the sun. I might die of skin cancer, but there's worse things to die of. Not really. I mean, there are worse things to die of, but we get checked out every time we go to a new city, like once a year, when we go back to the States or whatever, Australia, we get uh, dermatologists to check everything out, make sure we don't have any strange moles or cancer spots. It's actually calming down. It's not too bad now. Not too bad at all. So we're getting our head sail in, on the, uh, they're shipping the head sail to the uh, call out. Yeah. So they're shipping, uh, the reason we don't have the head sail is because we don't have a head sail. We went out in Cyprus. 
not the head cell, but the furling motor. But that little pro fur furling motor lasted for 17 years around the world, 50,000 miles. I mean, you can't, a product lasts 17 years, that's a pretty good product. Yeah. Uh, we uh, have one coming, a new one coming uh, in uh, Labrio when we haul out. So it'll be there. The rigger's going to bring in a new foil, new swivel, and a new uh, motor furler. So I'm excited about that. Pro Furl sending that out to us. Uh, and uh, uh, we're having a rigger install all that. So it'll be, let's see if the next one lasts 17 years. I'll be dead in 17 years. So it really won't matter. But, uh, I don't know if we'll be sailing in 17 years. Yeah, but, Somebody uh, will be on this boat. And, and for all you guys out there, uh, make sure if you don't, if, if you like our channel and you like a family channel, go check out Sailing with Six. The link's right here somewhere on the screen. Sailing with Six, they're friends of ours. They're Australian family. Got good good values, good moral values. Uh, they're a great family, and they're fun to watch their children raising them and an the, the adventurous lifestyle. Chris and Shona, they're wonderful people. And, uh, and give they them, make good videos, They make too. great videos, and they're authentic. They're real. Uh, and uh, that was a water splash. That was a water splash on the window. That was a rogue wave. Yee, rogue wave. Rogue wave took us down. It nearly took me out right there. That rogue wave nearly took me down. And our med crew is coming out in That's right. uh, the, probably the next video. The that, med crew kind of will be here in two weeks. So yeah, but the next video. The next video probably. after this, you guys might see I the see med it. crew. We'll yeah. see how that goes. Uh, and uh, so that's what we got going on. That's what's happening right now. We're just trying to make a little northing here today and get up north and then uh, check out a turkey and fit them and uh, then head over to our haul out and get the copper coat put on so we're putting copper coat on um, changing some uh, lights out and uh, got a new chain coming from uh, from uh, Maxwell uh, chrome 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 molly is chrome chain oh, so stainless, stainless steel, steel. Chrome, we call it chromox chrome, oh. chromox I think Anyway, we're excited about some of those things, and uh, the copper pill finally maybe we'll get something on the bottom of the boat that we don't have to change every two or three years. So, stay tuned. Socotra. It's like we're coming around the Horn of Africa. Yeah. Not quite. Not quite. Oh my gosh. How bad was that? That was... Well, what's the winds there? That was crazy. It was 50. This is only 32 knots. Jeez. Just think about that. So here's here's the thing you guys need to think about. 32 knots of wind right now. Seven years ago, that would have freaked me. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. I would have been like, oh my gosh. <laughs> White knuckling. Now, 32 knots. Eh, give me a cigarette. <laughs> but we don't even have sail out. We, we don't have motor, sail out. Right? We don't have motor. But still, I would have been stressed out about what the future might hold up here in front yeah. and back. Well, you wouldn't want to blow out of sail and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, it'd be kind of... We're not even sure. sailing right now, honey. Yeah, I wouldn't, even have a, I wouldn't even have a head sail out right now anyway. At 30 knots of wind, I'd be rolling that up just motoring because I don't want to tear something up. Yeah. I might have a little bit of a head sail out. No, actually, I wouldn't. It's wrong angle. And why don't you tack? Because I'm not a sailor. I'm a... I'm a motor boater. Motor boater. <laughs> motor boat <laughs> son of a gun. So a slight change of plans. We are going all the way to Didham today. We made it around that corner and the winds aren't too bad. They're only about uh, 12 or 13 knots. And so it's not too uncomfortable. We're gonna head all the way to Didham, which is only another 10 miles, and hopefully check out a turkey tomorrow morning. Today's Sunday. So tomorrow morning, we'll get checked out a turkey and head over to Greece. And so maybe by tomorrow, we'll be in Greece. I'm so excited.
It's a beautiful morning. Good morning. We are checking out a turkey today. Checking out. And it usually just involves us going to an office, giving them our passports, and they either stamp it or hopefully don't stamp it. So we don't have a lot of pages left. And then we're free to go. Do we have to pay to check out? Yeah, 135 euro. Total or each person? Total. Total, that's good. Right. And speaking of passports, I did make an appointment for all of us, or for all of them. I'm not gonna get a new one, it just costs too much. I'll deal with the ugly picture. But I guess I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, like I was saying, I did make appointments for passport renewal for all of them. I'm not gonna get one just because it costs too much. I'll just deal with an ugly picture. Um, but the appointment is in like two weeks and Kate's still not 16 yet. I don't know what I was thinking. She doesn't turn 16 until June. So we'll just uh, get her And I looked on the website today and there are no more appointments at the US consulate in Athens, Greece. So uh, we'll just get them, get them done. And when we get back to the US, we'll get her a longer passport that'll last 10 years. So hers will only last five years. I don't know what I was thinking. Sometimes I'm just not thinking. Too much to think about, to think about everything. You might be able to take this one. This is it, right here. This yeah. is it. We're out. Yeah, it's 830. I guess we'll wait. All right, so our med crew comes out in uh, just about two weeks. Are y'all yeah, excited? Yeah, stoked. We have Madeline, Glory, uh, Ganam, Luke, oh. Gabriella, but they're all 18 to 20 years yeah, old. Yeah, 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 they're all 18, 19, or 20. And we have been, uh, y'all been chit-chatting with them daily. Yeah. They're excited. Yep. So as soon as we get the boat hauled out, we're getting an Airbnb, and then, that sounds bright. And then some of them are flying into the Airbnb. So they're so excited to, to hang out with us and to see what Greece is all about. And as soon as the boat gets back in the water, uh, we'll all get on the boat and then we'll do some island hopping around Greece. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Now I think we have to go to immigration. There's our ride, yeah, shady yeah. black man. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, I could have brought the dinghy right there. Oh, yeah. True. Yeah. 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 So that was it. That was easy. About five, five or ten minutes and we're out. And we're off. Our time in Muslim countries has come to an end. So 10 euros just fell out of Finn's pocket and into the water, so we're gonna turn around and get it. If we can find Cause that's it, like $15. Right, right when you just said it's when it flew out. Grab yeah. it, a boat hook. How are y'all gonna get it? Grab a boat hook. I don't know. Gonna get a boat hook. Right there, there. Stupid, get a boat hook, y'all. What are you waiting for? I don't know, what are you? <laughs> yeah. Spend $5 in fuel to turn around and get 10 euros. What is going on? So 10 euros fell out of Finn's pocket into the water and dad insisted we turn around and go get it. Oh, look at that. better be quick about it. Go, go more to, more to, more to port. Rescued. You get it? Yeah, <laughs> boy. I throw it back in there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no! Did you see that, Keith? No? Jack ripped it in half. No, did you? I didn't it mean to. Apart. It fell apart. Yeah, it fell apart. It's all right. It still works. It's all right. Tape it together. That does not work. Go dry it out in there. Because yeah, it, it was uh, no, it was uh, that's already weird. eroded right there. Yeah, I remember seeing that. <laughs> oh lord. This is what we do while motoring from one island to the next. Wow, that was really good.
How are Greece and Turkey different? I feel like I've been entwined in Greek mythology. Greek mythology. One thing we've been enjoying doing when we get to these places, renting a car and going on adventures, just driving around, looking at the countryside, looking at the city, the ocean. Are you looking at yourself? You motorboat and son of a gun. <laughs> motorboat and son of a gun. Jack is hanging out the window. We've been here before. We've been to Pythagoras, the town we're in, and the island is Samos. Um, so we've been here before. We've seen all the ruins. We've done everything back five years ago when we got here so I don't really know what we're gonna do for the next couple of days while we wait for weather to go to Athens I wanted to answer one question we just got recently that kind of pertains to uh, us just having arrived in Greece Blake Ollander asked how do driver's licenses work in all these countries when we rent cars and and stuff so Keith how does how does it work do you have to get a driver's license for every country you go to no you don't but you know, in some countries they make you have an international driver's license, which you get for AAA. You need to get that in America uh, and have that on hand. I've only had to use it once. I think that was in Poland. Yeah, yeah, and, it was Poland. And uh, but most other people, they recognize uh, American driver's license. And uh, I mean, like mine's expired right now, so we're driving down the road with an expired driver's license. Renee's nice is good, mine's so I, I put hers down. But you know, she's not confident to drive. I am too. Countries. I just don't. She, well, actually, she's my little helper. I, she I helps drive, me drive for him. She drives for me. And I then, verbally drive. And then when I ask her to, does she need to drive, she uh, says, no, you drive. And I said, well, let me drive then. But then she tends to be my little helper over there. She's not a helper. She keeps me from wrecking. I'm a good uh, she's my little helper. Right seat driver. She's a little helper. She's my little helper. I would have never got this far in life driving down the highways without Shut her. Shut your mouth. Could have been dead. Shut I, it. I, I would have been dead a long time okay, ago. Okay, thank you for watching this. I'm going to have to wrap this video up because i got to get it edited and uploaded before we leave here in a few days. We're only staying here a couple days. And then we're headed to Athens, which is our... Uh, place where we're going to get the boat pick up the crew. and pick up the med crew. So, if you're not subscribed, I know yeah. it sounds so cheesy, but just hit the subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. And um, our statistics show, our analytics show that more people watch us than are unsubscribed. I don't know why that is, but if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe, subscribe button. Yes. Show and us some love and hit that subscribe button. Love. Like and subscribe. Unlike and subscribe. Either way, no. Hit the subscribe button. Smash that button. Smash, smash that smash. like button. Smash. Uh, smash. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.